Hi guys, so welcome to my channel. My name is Nifon Twi. On this channel, I make sewing tutorials and I post new videos every Wednesdays and Saturday. So if you enjoy that sort of thing, please make sure to check back on those days to watch new um, content. In this video, I will show you how to make flat pants out of um, crepe material uh, that has a little stretch. So um, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. Now, um, I will be running from the seventh. Is it seventh? I would start a short term class that would cost just one thousand five hundred this is the timetable for the class so you can pause it and see what I'll be offering the classes and the, that we'll have for um, each day the class will cost just 1005 please send me a message on whatsapp saying I am here for the two weeks class please specifically let me know that you are there for the two weeks class so that you don't confuse me it helps me to better um, know what you want if you don't tell me that I'll assume that you want something else okay and um, also if you are a person if you're a beginner or if you are a person who wants to brush up on your skill I also offer long-term courses unlike the one for two weeks for like three months six months and one year for you know a long duration so if you're interested please still send a whatsapp message um, still send a whatsapp message to the number that you can see on the screen okay um yes one more, once more if you want to take the short the two week class send me a message saying i'm here for the two week class the class cost 1500 naira for the entire two weeks uh, i will see you guys in the next video have a nice day bye bye Alright, you're welcome to today's video. Now, to fully understand what I'm doing here, um, you're going to have to watch my video on how to draft a trouser for women, okay? Because it's basically the same thing. The only difference between this pattern and the pattern for how to draft a trouser for women is going to start from around the knee area, okay? Where the um, trouser starts to flay out, okay? So, you're going to have to see the video on how to draft a trouser to fully understand what I'm doing here, okay? So, I'm not going to film the entire trouser from the beginning to the end because i've done that before so in order to keep this video short to save your time and to save me time i'm going to skip parts that i've already filmed before on, on the channel okay so now first of all i'm going to draft a trouser the front of the trouser okay i'll draft it and i would you guys i would meet you guys here when i'm done drafting the pattern and i'll show you how to modify that pattern so that it would work perfectly if you are trying to make a flay um trouser now the only um the first difference that you would that you would have to make between the pattern that you want to draw and the pattern that i showed you guys for how to make a trouser is that first you're going to need to keep three inches everywhere from top to bottom now this is going to serve as part of your flay now if you want the flay to be very 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 full then you can keep as much as five but for something uh, minimal you want to keep three inches everywhere and draw a line So after you have marked out the out the three inches that I've told you guys to mark, you will draft your pattern for your trouser starting from this line. Okay, so this line will now act as though it is the edge, this edge that you have here. So the way you would treat this edge if you're drafting a trouser is the way you should treat this line. Okay. Okay. So here we have this is the waist, this is the thigh. From here to here is the hip. This is the knee measurement. Now the other measurement that we need to place is the hem. Okay, now but most times it'd be a bit difficult to know exactly what you want for the fullness of the hem. So if you're having that difficulty of knowing how to measure the bottom part so that it is really really full at the bottom, what you want to do is after you've kept the three inches, okay. Also notice how I've been placing all my patterns. Okay, so you see where everything is starting from. From here to here is the tie, not from the edge of my paper. Okay, and then um, the next thing I'm going to do is this now if um, since we didn't take the measurements around the hem because that would be very very difficult to know how full it, you want it to look what I want you to do is I want you to take the knee so the knee I placed here is a knee of 16 and you know that when you're placing your 16 your knee it's going to be 16 divided by 2 8 and you place the middle of 8 which is 4 on this center line that you have here and you mark both sides please make sure to see the video on how to draft a trouser so that all of this will become a lot clearer or in fact go and see that first before you watch this to the end so that you don't get um, lost or discouraged so exactly what i placed at the knees what i'm placing at the hem first of all okay to make sure that here is coming straight down okay now we have the trouser pattern you can see the trouser pattern inside here okay now what we're going to do is we're going to come to the hem I want you to come to this hem and from here I want you to make a mark of 4 inches. You can make it 5 if you want at the hem. Okay? So you see this hem that we have. Let me use a different color. 
you see the hem that I have here from where my this line is this is my new trouser um, line that I connected my knee to my hem I want it to come out and mark four inches if you want to use the whole five inches that will still be okay okay so I'm going to use four inches here and then I'm going to come out from here too and use four inches as well so you see if we didn't keep this three we won't have the option of of expanding our flay out imagine if I had stopped here I'd have had only roughly 1.5 inch that I can use for my excess but because I kept this three inches and I have the option of expanding this part here um, opening the flare on this side for up to up to five inches on like they as opposed to the 1.5 that would have had at this point there okay now I'm going to connect the knee measurement to this point okay so from the knee please don't make it so sharp when you're doing this okay so as you can see I'm using the part of my curve that's a bit curvy I'm going to connect it And now let me show you guys how we are going to cut this out okay so first you want to fold your allowance underneath okay so the two inches I kept for allowance at the hem I would fold it simply fold it inside before I cut So now I'm going to use this pattern to cut the back. So I'll mark out everything and then I'll show you guys when I'm cutting it, how you would cut it and how your pattern should look. But well, it's basically the same thing, the same way I'll keep my allowance on the normal trouser for if I'm drafting a regular trouser, it's the same thing I would do here. Okay, I'll simply just keep um, one inch everywhere here, three inches up here. I'll bring here in by one inch and I'll keep one inch of allowance all over the front. Please make sure to see how, my video on how to draft the trouser for a lady if you want this to be very clear. Alright, so you can see the differences that we have in the front and the back. It's still the same thing with the regular um, trouser pattern. You can see this part, I have my allowance here, I have my one inch here, one inch here. You can see the curve that the front has over here okay. that we have the one inch of excess everywhere all over here as well so now i'm simply going to cut it out now i didn't put the paper on the fold so when we're cutting the fabric we have to put the fabric on the fold please do not forget to fold your fabric so that you cut two patterns instead of one i'm going to um, transfer this pattern onto my fabric I'll cut for the front and for the back okay now remember what I said please remember to make a fold I will still show you guys how I cut um, the the fabric but remember to put your fabric on a fold unlike the paper all right okay so here in front of me I have my fabric for my fabric I'm using crepe and it has very 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 little um, stretch so in case you're wondering the type of fabric I'm using I'm going to be using crepe for the trouser cut the pattern um, the same size with the fabric and if, if, if you guys watch closely you see that um, the fabric was on the fold I would do the exact same thing for the back okay so now I've cut my pattern for the back as you can see it's on the fold as well now next step I'm going to do but I'm not going to film that is I'm going to finish my edges with my overlocker all right so as you can see I have used the overlocker to finish the um, edges around my pattern you can see from the black so now the next thing we want to do is this is the front I'm working on first and you're going to come and make sure that you have the front of the fabric facing the front of the fabric and then we're going to join both of them together half inch from the top here okay so i'll start half inch at the top here i will sew around but i will stop one inch before i get to the end here so like i said you stop one inch before you get to the end so if you look at the end here you will see that the bottom part here can still be opened okay now i'm going to go and press and iron this flat but before i do that we have to stitch the dots okay so now we didn't mark any dot points on the fabric but how do we know it's quite easy i want you to fold here 
into two, two equal halves and then make a notch okay and then we're going to sew from here down to 3.5 Okay, so you can see I've opened it, I've spread it flat. You can see the two points here that I notched. Now I want you to fold one into half like so, put it into your machine and then hold a dart. Okay, so I'm going to use my tape like this. Position it on, to be on the same level with my fabric and then put my finger on 3.5 and then I'm going to make a dart here. see it mm. so you can see from here to here is 3.5 I'm going to repeat the same thing on this other side so now I want you to press head over to your ironing table press and iron all the darts perfectly flat and also this joining that we just made that's the center joining we're going to press this flat too all right so here you can see i have ironed here flat okay and you can see that the dots too i've also ironed it flat for the back i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to join the two sides of the back together half an inch but i'll stop one inch before i get to the end over here and then i'm going to still do the same thing i'm going to that's fold this into two complete halves fold it into half notch here and then i'm going to hold the dots but this time instead of 3.5 i'm going to hold my dots down five inches okay so five inches will be the length of the dots i'm going to do the same thing i did to the front i'm going to go and spread and iron this keep it flat i'm going to iron here okay so here we have the back as well so you can see everything is ironed look at how smooth the dart is all right so now the next thing is to join the front to the back so what you're going to do is on the first side either anyhow you want to join it, whether it's left or the right anyway is fine um, you will join the first side that you are joining as in the side now i'm joining the front to the back look at, i'm joining the front to the back on the side okay so now you will join the side half an inch from the top all the way down So now you see this is the first side that I just joined. Now you're going to join the other side. This part here, here is still open. This is the side I just joined. So we're going to join here to here. Now you see this, there's going to be some fold on this end here because the back is bigger than the front. Okay, but when you want to start joining this side, I want you to leave a space of six inches before you start, at least six inches. You can keep up to nine inches if the person you're making it for has um, a very, very, very big hip okay well six seven inches now would be enough okay so let me come to seven okay i'm going to stop here if you are working with a person that's a hip of 36 um six inches would be okay if you're working with a person with a hip from 40 to like 44 seven would be okay anything bigger than that use nine okay so now i'm going to join these two this part here is where the zip is going to be okay so this is going to have a side zip okay so this is where the zip is going to sit okay so I'm going to go from here straight down half inch, the same half inch I did before. Now, when you've joined the front to the back, okay, I need you to come to the leg, okay, the thigh that's inside here. So you can see this is the top part here. This is the side that we just joined. You can see this is the um, seven inches that we kept. Okay, here to here is seven inches. Now, if you see. The inside here is still open okay so what you're going to do is this you're going to pick up you see this part here this is the front of the thigh the part underneath is the back so i want you for instance if this is the right leg i want you to carry the front of the right leg and the back of the right leg and join them together so i'm going to come from here all the way down Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side here, on the other side. And 
then so the next thing I'm going to do now before I seal now if you you will still have a little hole in the center right here okay but what I want you to do now is go to your ironing table you see the side that you just joined I want you to spread and iron it flat okay so you see here we're going to spread an iron here flat also on this side too we're going to spread and iron it flat now what I want you to do is this after you've ironed the inner thigh flat you see this part here this is the inner thigh here I've ironed this flat all the way down you see this part here this is the front what I want you to do is I want you to pick up the front and the back you see this here this is the inner thigh this is another inner thigh this is the front this is the back that's the clutch of the front and this is the bomb area what I want you to do is you see this little hole that we have here there's a little hole here I'm going to run across from the front into the back and that is going to seal and that's going to seal the little hole that we have there back stitch at the beginning and back stitch when you stop okay now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do an over an overlocker to finish the hem that I have here like I did to the side before I bend it okay okay so now when you're done with that the next step is to fix your band okay now to cut your band you need to know how how much the waist is okay now we're going to start measuring from here you see this from the very edge here remember we didn't seal the we didn't seal this part all the way up i'm going to start measuring from here measure from here okay i'm going to keep going and then all the way down so here you can see that i have 32 okay so the waist that we have is 32 so what i'm going to do what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and cut myself a rectangle, okay? And I'll cut it with a length of 32, 32 by 4.5, okay? So let me go and cut it. You will cut that length. Remember, when we, when we measured from here all the way down, sorry, 33, cut of half inch of excess on both sides. Yeah, remember, we measured from here all the way around to here, and we had 42. Um, 32 sorry so I'm, I've added one inch that's half inch for sewing on this side and half inch for sewing on the other side of the waist which gives a total of 33 now as for the width of that rectangle that you are cutting you will cut it at 4.5 okay so let me go and cut that and I'll be back okay so first off you can see under here we have the pink and I've cut this at I cut this at 33 so from here okay all the way down to here is 33 and as for the width of it is consistently 4.5 from the beginning all the way down to the end and then after i did that i cut st okay so this is um, lightweight woven um fusible interfacing i cut it at 1.5 by 33 okay so it's the same length with the pink one okay it's the same length with it but the width of it is 1.5 now what i want you to do is i want you to iron the sd onto the um onto the band that you have here that's the pink one from here all the way down but you see the way we have half inch showing at the end right here i want you to have this half inch of pink line showing consistent um, consistently from the beginning all the way to the end as you iron so let me go and iron it and i'll be back okay so now you see i have ironed on the s state now the next step is we need to do a bit more ironing so you see this half inch that we kept okay you see this half inch that we have at the bottom here consistently from the beginning all the way down to um the end what you're going to do now is that you're going to fold this half inch and iron it over the s state like so okay so you see this i'm simply bending the half inch onto the s state and you to do this from the beginning all the way down to the end okay so i'm going to fold this half inch everywhere all the way down all right so you can see see what i was talking about i've ironed the half inch on top now you can see you can make it lay flat but you see that it keeps on coming up that's because i've ironed it to stay that way now what i want you to do is i want you to run a stitch on top of here half an inch at half an inch exactly that would hold this fabric that you folded to stay folded now you've seen this you can see the stitch make sure that it stays up permanently 
okay now the next thing i want you to do after you've done that is i want you to fold remember we cut this one at 33 instead of 32 that means we have half inch of sewing allowance here and we have half inch of sewing allowance here okay but by the time i sew this half inch and sew the other half inch on this side i've consumed one inch and the band would end up being 40 um, 33 once again sorry if i say 43 it's 33 i was talking about the band will end up being 32 by the time we sew half inch here and half inch there then now i'm going to fold this so you see this it was flat like so i'm going to fold this at the edge of the s day you see this and i should have half inch of fabric showing under here okay now i'm going to sew from the top all the way down half an inch so you see this now i've stitched this part here you can turn everything inside out if you wish so that part has been stitched down i'm going to do the same thing to this other side here as well so now i'm going to head over to the ironing table and i'm going to press and iron everything i have done flat i'm going to turn this one inside out okay and i'm going to iron it so that it stays like this okay so you've seen this look at how smooth everything looks that's because i've ironed everything completely flat i turned everything inside out look at the estate underneath right there okay now the next thing we're going to do is you're going to get your trouser okay now make sure that everything is facing the right side okay you've turned the whole thing inside out the way it's supposed to be what i want you to do is i want you to pick up the end like so so you see this is still the front side and then you're going to place so you see this the part that is longer you're going to place it front facing front you see this side here where that's where this line here is um is not showing you see the part here that is completely smooth you are going to place it facing the front of the trouser front facing front and then you're going to sew both the trouser and the band together at half an inch now because of this half inch that you have here when you are sewing the half inch down this one here will not be affected okay so i'm going to join them together at half an inch from here all the way down Okay, so now you can see that I went from the beginning here all the way down. You can see the thread. This is where I was stitching. So now the next thing we are going to do is this. You're going to simply take this part of the band that you folded in the first time. We are going to plant all the rough work into the band. You see this? And then we are going to stitch from here all the way down to the end. Okay? So we are going to go from here all the way down. if you come out and you look at the front you will see that you have fixed the band okay so i'm going to take this now press and iron it but with this we'll fix the band the only thing that is left is to fix the zipper so as for the side here i'll be fixing an invisible zipper if you've not seen my video on how to fix an invisible zipper without the um the presser foot that's meant for it please make sure to go and check out my video on my channel how to fix a zipper how to fix an invisible zipper without the um, presser foot that the invisible zipper press off it so i'm going to go and bring my zipper and i'm going to install it on this side right here okay so i've ironed my band i've ironed my band completely flat you can see everything's a lot smoother now now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to fix my zipper so i've already ironed the zipper flat please make sure to go and see my video how to fix an invisible zipper all right and that should solve all the all your um, questions on how i'm fixing this without the dedicated press off foot With that we have installed the zipper we've installed the zipper on the side and we are done with the pants okay so i will see you guys in the next video have a lovely day bye bye